Friends, all right. Let's bring you some news at this time. The body of the Olubadon of Ibadan, Lake Kombalogun, has now been buried at the Aliwo compound in Ibadan, Oyo State. Olaide Oyi Wole was there and now reports. The 42nd Olubadon of Ibadan, Oba Lake Kombalogun, died in the late hour of Thursday at the University College Hospital, Ibadan, after two years of his reign as the traditional ruler of the ancient city. Friends and members of the family of the king say they are still trying to come to terms with the loss of their monarch, who, according to them, left an indelible mark in the history of Ibadan. It's something unbearable for me, even for the whole family. It's unbearable for us. It's a great loss. Ilane Oba, a senator, an experienced, uh, you know, um, old man. Um, he has been conducting the affairs of the Olubada Palace in the way most daughters and sons of Ibadan land, you know, have been left siege for. But God knows the best. After the demise of our former father, Ajogu Bodiso, he, he being an educated person, took control of the city, control of the elites, and managed, for the short period, managed the city very well person. Before his final interment, the remains of the monarch was brought to the historic Mako Hall for the lying in state, which was witnessed by traditional rulers, the Olubadon Council and other prominent people. Moving forward, his legacies, his memories, we chart the cause for wrongs, not only in Ibadan, but in Nigeria, in your state. He was an amiable monarch, as you all know, very friendly, very jovial, and we pray to Almighty Allah that he will meet his creator in peace. Finally, the king was laid to rest at his family compound as sympathizers bid goodbye to their king. Oladio Yewale, TVC News, Ibado.